Hi guys, um, so we're back after a couple weeks off from doing these interviews with our cast and crew. Um, and tonight we have Miss Amelia joining. So I'm gonna just chill for a second and wait for her to get on. Um, let me see if I can find her. This is always interesting. I'm still not like an expert at the Instagram live situation. <laughs> uh, oh, there she is. Okay. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> She's trying. Hey. Hello. How are you? So cute. Ah, thanks. You too. I like the glasses. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm I'm going, you know. <laughs> twenty twenty. Yeah. Awesome. Um, are you like back in your normal work cycle yet or still at home? Still at home. I actually am at home for the foreseeable future. Um, they are phasing um for anyone who doesn't know, I my day job is I work as a creative producer and lead cinematographer at ABC ten in Sacramento and um, the uh, corporation that owns us has been very careful and they're just phasing us back into the station and just because uh, my department works we can work remotely still I mean they're very 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 careful so which yeah. I think is great I really appreciate yeah. but that means I don't know when I'm going back to the station <laughs> physically so I'm just yeah. producing from home but I see you I see all your like you know, you've got the setups going and everything. So, yeah, I mean, at least you can do stuff from home. I mean, it's, it's good. It's better than the alternative of just like waiting to go back and not being able to. Yeah, of... we were actually really lucky. Um, so the day we got the dictum to go back home, we actually grabbed equipment. Um, so I'm actually quarantining with a camera and like props, <laughs> like basic bare like film equipment, but I have some and I've been producing food videos and stuff, but like, yeah, there were some stations that from the same cart for that just they got so short notice that they weren't issued cameras. And like, yeah, it's it's a whole thing. Oh, so, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, so good. we're lucky. <laughs> yeah, that's good. All right. Well, I will. I guess now that we've had a conversation, get you to like sort of introduce yourself and also talk about what you did for New Girl. Yeah. Um, okay, for anyone who doesn't know me, I'm Amelia Medieta Cordova, um, and I was the cinematographer or director of photography for The New Girl. Um, and then I thought we could talk about how you and I met, because it was kind of funny that the AFI MOSs came out today. Yes! <laughs> yes! Um, I love a story, just because, like, everyone, um... It's a great story of like you never like I, I've always believed this, but you never know when your where your next meal is gonna go um, come from, okay. and you should treat everyone on set with that same dignity, you know, like because I've seen I've been on sets where like people, you know, PAs are really treated badly or like you know I, everyone on set will see how you treat someone and how you interact with someone and like um, just being a decent human being on set is important. <laughs> it seems like simple information, but somehow isn't. <laughs> yeah. And um, so for me, it's just like, I mean, obviously, well, so yeah, so basically, uh, I, I, I'm an AFI alum. Um, and one of the things we do in the cinematography program um, is the 35 millimeter visual essay, which is um, we get 2,000 feet of film and we have to tell a story completely visually, meaning any sound has to be done in post and we cannot use dialogue. It has to be told in three minutes, um, which is cool because you get to shoot on film and really, it's all about really visual storytelling to tell a story that way. And Laura was the actress in mine. <laughs> so that's how we met. I um, learned tango in like 20 minutes. <laughs> I know. Yes, uh, yeah, because we, uh, it's about a woman who uh, basically seduces her husband and you think that she's seducing her, him, it turns out she's just distracting him to, like, steal a sandwich, um, which is, yeah, I mean, I was actually inspired by that 
Friends episode in which Joey gets asked um, whether he wants like sex or food, like sex yeah. or food. If he had to choose one, like what he would choose, he goes like sex, no food. No, I want like women on buns or something like that. And I'm like, <laughs> what would a woman's answer to that be? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sandwich. And I was like, <laughs> she steals the sandwich. <laughs> it was a really good sandwich, too. Yeah. I do remember that. It was like good, good sandwich stuff. Um, OK, well, we sort of talked about this, but what have you been doing to kind of stay sane this year while you've been at home? And um, A bunch of stuff. I mean, professionally, as I said, I'm still very thankfully working um and i've actually it's been an interesting experience because um one of my favorite things that i'm doing right now is i'm actually producing a lot of little food videos from home um because especially at the beginning of quarantine we didn't have enough content that wasn't like covid related and like we really needed to put some of that out but it was really hard to produce that because we obviously can't be out in the public and like so we were starting to create like content that we could do at home and like because I cook a lot and I have some experience uh, shooting food like that's just something I've been doing which I actually enjoy right. and they're really artsy and they allow me to like try things out that are kind of cool like I just yeah, that's been... some cool stuff so like yeah kinda, that's really um cool. Yeah, I, I was I just finished like this is why you see the black backdrop because I just finished doing the latest one, which is uh, how to make homemade boba tea. And I just like went crazy with the lighting, which is not something you would do with food videos usually, but it's fun. And um, so I've been doing that and uh, obviously producing promos and all that stuff for the station as well. But non uh, day job related, I'm actually attached to a couple features. Um, and I was attached to a feature that was supposed to shoot in the fall and now we're shooting next year sometime because like of COVID, but that same production company is, um, uh, looking to shoot a, something, a, a little horror, like horror feature in the fall. So we're, that's actually doable during COVID. So attached to that. I don't what is it doable during COVID? Like how are you, how are you working that? Um, so what I was told, it's like going to be like a 20 person total cast and crew thing. Right. So really minimal. And we're all like doing the pod thing. Well, I mean, like we're all quarantining or we're going to be secluded in this one place for 10 days or something like that. That's okay. the plan. So that, um, uh, yeah, we keep things so minimal and like, yeah, it's really. Or is the script so that the actors are not having a sort of interaction or. Because I know a lot of people are rewriting things. Yeah, so I haven't read the script. I'm okay. attached based on like a pitch, really. But the idea is, I think it's like two or three actors maximum. But the bulk of it is actually one actor in a house kind of situation. Right. That makes so, sense. A horror yeah. is the right kind of film to do in that situation. Because a lot of time. Yeah. Writing. So <laughs> it'll be interesting. So I've started a little bit of prep work, like my own research for that, and. Um, yeah, and then I've just been doing a bunch of stuff, like DIY stuff. Um, I built a shelf um, from scratch. Awesome. <laughs> uh, I'm learning some coding for, for like electronics and boxing yoga. And I got a kitten. That's the other thing. I didn't know that. Yes. Wait. Yes. Oh, my God. My kitten. I, I got her. What, for what's her name? Her name is Astra. Astra. Oh, hi, Astra. That's yeah. so She's It's so the nice. perfect time to have a pet, really. Huh? It's the perfect time to get a pet. Yeah, I was looking for a pet, like, actually, because I'm one of those people who... I can't have a dog just because of my job. I it's just, a lot. It's, it's a lot. I mean, like, I'm when I'm on set, or even when I'm not, I'm, like, gone for at least eight, if not you know, on set, you're gone for 12 hours at least. You can't yeah. really have a dog. I mean, I I don't have the heart to have a dog in, like, yeah. bad, bad conditions. No judgment to anyone who does. But, um, and then with a the cat, I was like, okay, if I do get something, it'll be a cat. But I'm also one of those people who was like, I want to be in a position where I felt that I was going to be both <laughs> – emotionally and financially responsible as an adult that I could take care of, like give it the best life possible. And 
I didn't feel that I was in that place until like literally two weeks before COVID when I started looking to adopt a cat. And then it was this whole thing because then all the adoption centers closed down and I was trying to find a cat. And then random ass night, I was at Pet Finder and like they were giving away this kitten. They had found it and like she was four weeks old. And like, I was like, I'll take her. <laughs> so I'm taking you home. Oh, wow. Yeah. Lucky. Yeah, so she's eight weeks now, and she's. I'm training her, you know. I have pictures of her with on set. She's my gaffer and my key grip, really. Uh, <laughs> now. Like full team there now. Full That's team, like yeah. We all have to earn our like um, our weight and food here. You know, she's right. catching a pitch in. Yeah, oh, yeah that works for sure. For sure. She was my stand-in today too. I put her on. The <laughs> I feel like a cat could do that. Yeah. <laughs> Pets are like, I'll stand here and look pretty. Oh, she loves the camera. Loves it. It's kind oh, of funny. Yeah. I mean, you know, she's yeah. a cat. Yeah. Um, oh, I was going to ask you, because you were talking about setting up weird lighting and stuff for food. <laughs> Do you want to talk about how you guys kind of came up with the lighting for the movie? Yeah, sure. Um, so... <clears throat> To the New Girl it was a really interesting challenge. I think I enjoyed the challenge because, like, a lot of people would have said, like, what the hell? Like, it's it's 10 women against a black background with, yeah. where the only production design is a mic and a rug, and you're like, yeah, cool. <laughs> what do I do with that? Yeah, yeah. Um, and, like, every single monologue has its own distinct personality, and we wanted to make make it so that there was like everything had its own like feel <clears throat> but that there was also a progression throughout right. and for us when we talked about it with uh with adriana it was really about um camera movement and lighting so when we started to talk about the monologues and the because there is an emotional progression there is a tonal progression in the whole whole piece um, and then we started talking about each one of the stories. So like, and we came up with references, uh, for both lighting and, um, <clears throat> framing for each of them. And for us, it went from like comedy into something a little bit more dramatic and then it goes real dramatic. And then you come back to a more human drama kind of thing. Right. Yeah. So we really want it, but like within the comedic ones, like Zoe versus Miriam, we wanted something very distinct. So Zoe for us was like your adolescent or your teen comedy kind of thing. So we were referencing like um, Mean Girls and the Duff. So it's a little bit more like mm -hmm. uh, big soft sources, very more traditional comedic lighting. <clears throat> And then with Miriam, we started introducing a little bit of color in the lighting. It's very, very subtle, a little bit of teal in the backlight. Um, but also, same kind of basic thing. But with Miriam, we actually went really extreme with our shot sizes. So our, because like adult women, um, older women, yeah. you know, can sometimes be photographed in a, in a certain way and we actually wanted to go against that grain and we actually she's funny and like for us it was like um and tragic <laughs> she was our references were like middle little miss sunshine the way um the main characters photograph like these really big glasses that first shot you see of her that was yeah exactly that was her reference and like we wanted her to feel like she was hiding and then because she goes from like being so right. tight and like to like opening up and we wanted like to mirror that. Um, so we go from very, very extreme to like opened up. And then with Bethany, that was her favorite. Just cause like- That's a lot of people's favorite. <laughs> I mean, it was our favorite to talk about because yeah. it's both, it's funny, but there's also like that right amount of vindictiveness in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And for us, it was like, okay, there's this girl who gets, whose husband is a TV preacher and she gets, you know, left by him. Or like, she gets into this whole thing. So there's like, definitely a flip in power. And we were like, well, what if she, we photographed it her, like, she's a preacher, you know? Like, if she's like, in, she's the one speaking in this like mega church, you know, with the lights and like, all this movement and the flares and like, like really give her that treatment of like, she's speaking to this giant audience. Yeah. 
and how she gets that power from her, you know, like from her husband's role, right. really. Yeah. Um, and then who's the next one? Sheila. Faye? No. Sheila. Uh? Sheila. Sheila, right, Sheila. I forget sometimes too the order. I'm always like, <laughs> yeah. Sheila's when we start going a little bit dark. Um, we go really heavy on the backlight. We wanted to make her feel very powerful. Um, like almost she's, because um, she has a whole thing with a miscarriage and wanting to have that. But there's always like a light behind her. Like God, because she talks about, gosh, she's a very religious woman. Right. We wanted that, you know. God is with her, you know, that divine light never really leaves her. And she like, that's how she gets her power back. And then, then it's Faye, right? Or is it Karen? Yeah, Faye. Faye is when we actually start really go. we keep that contrast and that darkness that we start introducing with Sheila, but then we start actually introducing more color, mm -hmm. which is where the color comes in. Um, and so like for us, Faye and Melanie were two kind of, that's two sides of the same coin in a say in a way because the we were talking about is like Faye is like is like a scared cat in a cage mm -hmm. but like like a cat like an actual like my cat kind of thing like so she's like she's not very trusting of you and she's very shy versus and but there's like it's more fear and anxiety versus like melanie where it's just like straight up anger and it's like right. for us for melanie was like we wanted her to have her feel like it's a lion who's been caged and has like been pissed off like something you really don't want to approach um and it's just pacing and like for us like the way we treated both of them in terms of framing like with Faye, we did have a little bit more space there was we gave her a lot more space in the frame um and we, we introduced cut like the start introducing the color contrast a little bit when we get into closer, especially towards the end, just to make her like mm -hmm. scary. Like that one close up when she's like, um, you know what I mean, you know, like yeah. you better show up and you know what you, you just see that kind of like yeah. come through. And with Melanie, and like this is one of my favorite comments, like when we were watching at the Chinese theater, I was like, um, Don like came over and was like, I didn't realize that was so freaking scary. I know. I think <laughs> like, because it has been so long since we shot too, like, and for the actresses, I forget because you know, I've seen it like 10 million times, but yeah. they like, they were so in and out, like they were yeah. on set for like three hours each. So for them, it was like this really quick and I'm like, oh yeah, no, I know, I know your performance like in right. and out. But they've kind of forgotten, so it was sort of new. Even when we did the um, cast and crew screening, we had a couple, like Samantha Caro came up to me afterwards and she was like, I cried at my own yeah. monologue, which I've never done with like anything. And I'm like, I think it's because you're so far removed from it that it's like, it was able to hit you. Where with me, I'm like, <laughs> Well, I mean, I've been involved in the process and I still cry yeah. at my own film. So I mean, I think that's a good thing. Like, when did you cry? What part um, <laughs> At the premiere, I was hiding. Oh no, I love it. I was, I was with my friend Aaron, and I was just like slinking down the chair, and he was like, oh. like I'm crying, like trying to like not get anyone to like oh. see me cry. Well, Aaron gets me every single time. That's the thing. But yeah. I think you have no soul if you don't like tear. Yeah, up. no. Um, but yeah, Melanie, Melanie, I love Melanie because like, again, it was super extreme. Like we yep. basically backlit her and we yeah. like, filled the whole room with smoke. And the one thing is like, we pinged her eyes. So there are shots where all you kind of see is these like bright eyes, yeah. like in the, almost in the darkness. No, I remember doing the color correction day with you and you were like, you are like, okay, we got to get these eyes. <laughs> Yeah, I powered the powered the <laughs> shit out of that. Love it. it was great. Um, <laughs> because it's so, and like, it's such a, like, that's my kind of stuff. I love when I'm just like riding the toe of darkness and like, yes. I'm like, it's almost got it, but there's information there. Uh. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, it's cool. Well, um, Sam was saying when we were talking about it, because we went through and did some um, commentary a few weeks ago and she was saying what she really likes about that one it's so dark that it actually it makes you really listen to the words yeah and, and it lets it like really hit you which i hadn't thought about and i was like yeah that is really cool like, yeah yeah because yeah. she's there's so much aggression in melanie and like mm -hmm. we felt that 
in the rehearsal and like again we were just like if you notice we don't move the camera at all right because we like or if we move it we are like never letting her leave the frame because we wanted her to feel like trapped mm -hmm. there is that entrapment for us that was what it was it was like a really dangerous animal that was trapped and like pissed and wanted out yeah um and yeah then it was karen no i think it's alexis and then karen yeah, yeah alexis alexis was one of my favorites in terms of like lighting just because again the extremity yeah. of it yeah um it was i mean coming off of um Melanie, which is actually the most extreme color we did, because like we got, went really, really blue, and then Alexis, we went almost, um, almost like, almost black and white. Yeah, it feels really. like monochrome. Yeah, it feels really monochrome, and like we knew about the red dress, so we wanted to make that red dress pop. So it, it almost felt like white, black, and red kind of thing. Just yeah, like this dress is awesome too. She looks so good in that. Yeah. No. And like for us, it was she we were profiling her you never really see her face like head on because like she's not letting you in and any of the time she's talking she's very business-like for us it was like this is a ceo talking to the board mm. that's what we you know she's very powerful she's very business even though she's a mother and like she's talking about her experience with her kid or, like or the nanny or the kid like this is a business transaction and she's not like because she's treating it as such like we wanted to give her yeah like she's a high powered ceo and that's how she's talking but she's not letting you in ever emotionally um so it was nice cuz we were able to like my one of my favorite shots from this film is from that one is like we were behind her and you see the yeah. fog and the audience i have it on my I have it on my wall right yeah here. <laughs> yeah so i like it too <laughs> it was I think it was we we got inspiration that was um I think it was from uh Iron Man or something we saw a similar shot that we okay. really liked and we were like we want that power like a, yeah. the way a guy would usually be photographed in that mm -hmm. scenario we wanted that for her very cool um and then Karen Karen was fun because I remember all the references for Karen. They were like a lot more gloss. They go back to that kind of glossiness, kind of high key. We have a little bit of color coming in, a little bit of that rosiness. We're going away from like the really extreme blues, um, a little bit softer. But we, we were like, let's just treat it like we're like shooting Martha Stewart. Yeah, I remember that. I was like, that's perfect because <laughs> it's like a cooking show. It is a cooking show, yeah. And you, so you could just like, we wanted it to show like, it, imagine that there was a whole kitchen there and she's like doing the things and like, she's explaining. Um, so, and we, we wanted her to feel a little bit more glossy because of, you know, like more TV-like in a sense. Um, and we covered it a little bit more traditionally too. We went like wide, medium, close, nothing super extreme frame-wise, center punch stir, all that stuff. Um, and then, um, Alyssa was fun because that's when we get all the colors. <laughs> yeah. That was so, when we were like setting that up, like the smoke and everything, it was gorgeous. Like, yeah. I was freaking out. It was like, this is so cool. <laughs> well, I mean, I love color. I love colored lighting and like, yeah. <laughs> I never get to do it. Yeah. In extreme, and it's like, so it was like, let's make it really, cause she's talking from the grave well i did i spoil yeah, it but it's fine yeah yeah we were talking about this too like well, uh, in the um in the original play she's actually like holding a gun and like exits uh, with the gun and then you hear like a gunshot essentially but we didn't i didn't want to include a gun in the in the movie because i think especially on film it's like a different context yeah. so we sort of were like maybe she's you know, a ghost. Maybe she's not. I don't know. Yeah, and we wanted a, a kind of ethereal, like, feel to her because she's in her wedding dress and, like, um, so, yeah, we we pumped in a lot of smoke in there and a lot of pastel colors and, like, one of the things I was talking about, like, I was trying to keep continuity of color and contrast and everything else, but in this one, I was like, no, I actually don't want that because I want it to feel, like, ethereal but also a little bit weird and a little bit off, like, 
like when when you realize that she's talking from the dead that you're like oh kind of thing and like and I think that by not keeping that color continuity throughout like that helps a little bit um and that's when we introduce the 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 movement again like very subtle very like floaty movement when we've been like pretty static up until Karen we start introducing a little bit but like I guess when we go a little back into the movement um we have a great story from that from shooting that one actually from Melissa yeah so here's how I knew I had good stuff in the can <laughs> um so for the one of the mediums um because the whole thing is like Alyssa is one of the longest dialogues and like we were doing like one takes and um, so basically what was supposed to happen is my dolly um, was supposed to move back and forth like the whole time like really slowly the whole time and I was like that was the one instruction I gave to my dolly group she was like no matter what just keep moving back and forth <laughs> and, like towards the end of like one of the mediums the dolly stops moving and I'm there with the camera because I'm operating and I'm just like, Brian, 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 whoa. And he's just like not, and I'm just like trying to not interrupt the performance and I'm trying to be like, come on, man. And then like, fin um, um, they finish, and <laughs> Samantha like finished and Adriana calls cut and he's like, we got it. And I was just like, no, 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 right. no, my dolly stopped moving in the middle of the shot. Yeah. And she's like, no, 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 it was perfect. And I was like, oh, crap. And I look back and I'm like, I'm like, what the hell? And he was like, crying, first of all. Oh, I love it. And he goes like, I'm sorry, I just got caught up in the performance. And I was like, you oh. know what? If your dolly grip gets, gets caught up in the performance, you know you have something really good. I just love making people cry. That makes me so happy. <laughs> yeah, no. And I was like, one of those, like, okay, I'll let, you know, <laughs> I'll let it go. I'll let it go. Cause like, I yeah. mean, I'm, it's one of those things. I really feel that <laughs> at the end of the day, like, it's not that my job isn't important. My job is important, but like, if you don't have a good performance, you don't have it. Right. And yeah. At the end of the day, that's what matters. So I was like, if, my, if that performance made my dolly grip cry enough, or like that he stopped the dollying, yeah. you got something good there. Yeah. <laughs> so let it go. She's amazing. What another funny story about her is that she had to come in and do. She was one of the three that did a little bit of ADR, and she had to do some of it through those really emotional crying yeah. moments. And I was like girl, I'm so sorry. Like, I know this is going to be rough because that's like, actress, yeah. that's the toughest thing to recreate. And she like, I, I don't know what happened, but she just like, even the exact breaths and the tears, like she had it. She just redid it in like two yeah. seconds. And it was like, okay, what? <laughs> the ADR guy was like, that was really amazing. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> they're really talented. <laughs> no, they're all good. I mean, yeah. And the last one, I mean, Harriet, I, she made my crew cry too, not Brian, but <laughs> my, yeah. So, um, yeah, she made me cry. I was just trying to hold it together. Yeah, that <laughs> was a tough one to watch. It's just was, a lot. Yeah, and I mean, for me, for that one, what we did actually is, um, so Adriana and I, one of our favorite Black Mirror episodes is San Junipero, and Black we Chris just... Too love that one and like one of the things we love is just um the way it treated uh the characters when they were elderly like they brought in that color from like that vibrant um vr like world um vr is not really vr but that uh, alternate world I feel like that so, 80s like arcade kind of yeah like, so like you color but desaturated sort of feeling yeah you still feel you still have those teals and those pinks and like in like the real world right. in a really subtle way so uh, we were like let's do that so that's why we gave like um harriet a little bit of a pinkish backlight of like this nostalgic feeling a little bit softer but in um that one we were like let's we'll keep that movement we started with Alyssa, the back and forth dolly movement just a little bit faster, 
a little bit more, like you will notice the movement, because again, it's a really long monologue. <laughs> Yeah, it's like 15 minutes. It's long. Yeah. Yeah, it's 15 minutes. And we only had four shots, I remember, because, uh, yeah. 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 So we were like, we make these count. <laughs> um, <laughs> but like, yeah, so that's, that's where it's our progression going from like really just kind of very traditional comedy, you know, through like really dark, really colorful, really like, and still coming, we come back to a more like normal. Or like in normal I don't know normal is not the right image but right. but like but right. like with a little bit of a or natural it's not natural either but <laughs> you know what I mean um so yeah that was your progression that was our thought it's just like because we again and I'm pretty proud of the fact that we were able to give it such a distinct yeah tone um such a like contained space yeah, yeah. because again it's 10 women against a black background with a mic because yeah. of production design. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. a challenge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. That's, yeah. No, I think it's it's amazing. Like, when I watch it, I, I and the lights and stuff just really, like, make such a huge, huge difference. Super cool. Um, okay, so I think you've already answered this, but which monologue was your favorite? My favorite? Uh, favorite as in, like, <clears throat> to watch, maybe. Like, just now that you've seen it, maybe, I don't know. Is that, I, I always feel bad. I'm like, I don't want to, like. <laughs> I well, because I have my favorite, that, that one, the one that was my favorite to shoot. Mm. And the one that I'm, like, um, I just really love as a monologue. Okay, so me both. Me, my favorite to shoot was actually Bethany. Because, yeah, okay. it's, like, it's. I love the the color we use. I love the like really wide sweeping like movement. Like it was fun and like uh, Skylar was um, her performance was just fun and bubbly. Like and like we were laughing on set. It was just a good experience. Yeah. But my favorite monologue is actually Miriam. Yeah. Um, so funny. She's funny. Uh, you kind of don't see it coming. You kind of don't see the way she reacts. And I think. Right. Um, <laughs> I just love the end. It's like, it's, it's not, it, now he's your problem yeah. or something. And yeah. I'm just yeah. like, <laughs> and it's like, as an elderly woman having to go through that at her age and like having been put through that, I was like, I can't help but like root for her yeah. <laughs> at yeah. the end. So she feels like very, um, stand up to me too, which is kind of yeah. funny. Like a lot of the movie ends up feeling like a, I've even had people ask if it's a documentary, which I think is such a compliment to the actor. Yeah. yeah. Like, and I could totally see it because it's like, it does. It feels like that kind of like stand up open mic night thing. Um, okay, what's your favorite movie? Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. All right, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll give you that one. <laughs> um, okay, I think you told me this, but last question is what else are you working on? Anything else you want to promote or? You know. Yeah, um, I'm going to promote. So I, you were in this, but so we just <laughs> released. I, I do a lot of music videos uh, of Charlie Young's music videos. Charlie's like a really old friend of mine. Also, uh, yeah, she was the actress in every single one of my undergrad films that no oh, one should that. ever, ever, ever watch. Like the film school ones that are just like. Please no, no. She's a great sport. She was amazing. She's the best part of that. Like, she's so sweet. Yeah, I just did like that thing with her, an interview with her last week. She, that was so fun. That she was yeah. amazing. She's see. And so we've been collaborators for a while, and like I've done her last four music videos, and we actually are prepping for another one <laughs> that we're trying to figure out how or when to shoot for her next single, like within the next couple months. Um, but yeah, her, our latest collaboration, uh, for her single, Your Fire, came out about a month ago, yeah. yeah. And, uh, yeah, Laura's in it, and a lot of other, other awesome women are in it, so Quite it's been a for all people, too, so that's fun. Yes, yes, Aurora was in there as well, um, and, like, Helena, who's, who was my gaffer the first yeah. day, yeah. um, who's also a really, really good friend of mine, I, I love her to bits and pieces, was there. <laughs> Um, and yeah, it's a fun one because, uh, it's, 
we really wanted to showcase uh, a lot of female filmmakers and like they're, they're fun, but they're strong and they're amazing creative people. So it's just a bunch of great women being showcased, I think. It came out great. It was super fun. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I was talking to her, um, like my dream movie to produce is like a, like a um, almost famous meets Lady Bird type thing with like yeah. a little music and I don't, I have no musical skills whatsoever. And I was like, all right, maybe one day we'll have a good excuse to like <laughs> do some yep. stuff together. That's fun. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for, you know, oh. coming by. Uh, also my other feature oh. is coming out it's in the it's in post but we're starting to promote it so when is it coming out do you know or it does not have a coming out date yet but i yeah, know it's hard. picture locked and we are promoting it uh it's called hotel refinement it's actually a complete departure from the new girl it's yeah i've seen the trailer it looks really cool yeah thanks it's uh it's an oniric neo-noir that's the way i <laughs> describe it um it was really fun to shoot. Um, very, yeah, kind of old school, 1940s, hard boiled kind of noir thing with some modern elements. Um, so yeah, that'll be coming out soon. Cool. And yeah, go watch my food videos. Yeah. <laughs> I want there to be like a technology that makes me what people make on the video in my house. I'm yes. Like, Top Chef, I'm watching and I'm like, can't they just like put that on a plate for me right now and I'll eat it while I watch the show? Like, seems like we yeah. can do that, like a robot. I don't know. Anyway, all right. Well, I'm sure we'll be, you know, connecting soon in the next two months or however long we have until the movie comes out, August 11th. <laughs> um, but yes. yeah. Go and maybe order. hopefully we can go to Palm Springs in September. Yeah, uh, we'll see. Fingers crossed. That would be fun. Yeah. That would be fun. I really. <laughs> <laughs> what a weird year. <laughs> it is a weird year. Oh, can I just say? I mean, not. Yeah. I mean, please wear masks, people. Yeah. For real. Yeah. Like, yeah. please be safe. Yeah. Yeah, please. So, Thank you. Well, they made it required now, so hopefully that will help. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 2020. <laughs> All right. Love you, girl. Thank you so much for swinging by and doing this. Yes. Hear all your stories. Thanks. Stay Same. I miss there. you guys. Oh. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>